Welcome to the 880 Auto Wrapper Training. In this video, we'll be discussing the steps to change the labels. Mettler Toledo offers two options with the 880 Auto Wrapper. The first being the standard auto applicator printer, the second being a day glow or pop printer. If your wrapper contains a pop printer, you will have the option of choosing which printer to change the labels on. We'll begin with the standard printer. Start by selecting the Label Change button on the home screen. Proceed to select the Printer 1 option. The operator display will guide you through each of the steps on how to change the labels. Once the applicator moves to the side, you'll begin by opening the front cover. Flip the thermal head and pull out the printer. The thermal head is recognizable because it will have an arrow pointing up which you will use to flip it. The printer handle has a tube beneath it. Use the handle above the tube. Next, you will move the white label securing arm out of the way to remove the empty label core out of the machine. Insert the new roll with the end coming off the top of the roll towards the front of the machine. Place the white label securing arm back into place and remove the first five to six labels from the roll. Take the label backing paper and begin by following between the silver and the white pieces furthest from you the next silver and white pieces, over the silver bar, under the white guide rollers, and over the silver label tear bar. Continue to follow the paper under the black rubber roller all the way back to the first silver rod and up to the label take-up spool. Pull out the label securing lever and feed the backing paper through the slot, releasing the label securing lever to hold it in place. Roll the label take-up spool counterclockwise until the paper is set in the rollers and put the label securing arm back in place. Push the printer back in place until it clicks and lower the thermal head in place carefully. Please be aware that the thermal head is being held in place by a magnet when lifted. Do not drop the thermal head, but rather lower it down until it clicks. Press the feed button to ensure the labels are feeding correctly. Once the alignment of the labels is complete, close the front blue cover to finish. You have now completed the process of changing the labels in the standard printer. We will now go over how to change the labels on the Dayglow printer. Begin by selecting the Label Change option on the main screen. Select the Pop Printer button and follow the prompts on the screen to change the labels. Open the front blue cover and then open the cover of the Pop Printer and move the white label securing arm out of the way in order to remove the label core from the machine. Insert the new roll of labels, making sure the label roll is rotating clockwise off the center hub. Ensure that you have about 12 inches of the backing paper available without labels on. Please take note of the diagram inside the printer door to set the label. Lift the thermal head and pinch the holding rollers open. Begin by pulling the backing paper down behind the guide roller through the gap sensor and over the label tear guide. Continue to follow the backing paper underneath the printer assembly, up behind the silver rod and to the label take-up spool. Pull out the label securing lever and feed the backing paper through the slot, releasing the lever to hold it in place. You will then roll the label take-up spool clockwise and put the label securing arm back in place. Set the thermal head back down and close the holding roller until they both click. Close the cover of the pop printer and print a test label by pressing on the feed button on the screen. Once the alignment of the label is complete, finish the process by closing the front blue cover. A few storage best practices to keep in mind is that the minimum storage life of a roll of labels is 18 months when stored at less than 85% relative humidity and less than 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not store in extreme hot or cold temperatures. Extreme cold is considered to be less than 26 degrees Fahrenheit. You are now prepared to change your 880 auto wrapper labels.